Hi, today I want to talk to you about setting boundaries and how to say no. It may seem an odd thing for a mediator, especially as one of the great books on mediation is called Getting Past No. But in real life, setting boundaries and saying no nicely is the best way of avoiding conflict. Because we all have boundaries. We all need to protect the things we value. And when those boundaries are crossed, either knowingly or, or unknowingly, we feel angry or we feel threatened or we close ourselves off and pretend we don't care. I call that the reaction of a tortoise withdrawing into your shell, a deer running away, or a caveman coming out fighting. But as you know, this doesn't necessarily work well in relationships or in the long term. So have a think, what's your default response? This response happens when you let your emotions take control. That's why it's important to learn some tools to handle your emotions. I won't go into that in this video, but if you'd like to know more about tools to handle your emotions, then click on the link below and I'll send you my six Ps to help you control emotions and keep calm. So what is it that's, what's the best way of saying no nicely? Well, first of all, it's to get clear on what it is that's important to you. Why is it that you need to say no? What's the story you're telling yourself about this situation? Once you know what's valuable, say for example, at work when someone's asking you to work overtime, but what you really value is your time with your family. So once you have that idea of value in your mind and how important it is to say no, it does make it easier to say no and it helps calm you down because you know what's valuable. You're thinking of the good rather than, oh gosh, I'm going to say no, what am I going to do? Oh dear. What you also need to do is tell people in a way that is not judgmental. So it's not like, well, you don't care about my family. I, you know, and this, and make yourself a victim. No, simply state what it is. Say, I don't, you know, I like to have time with my family. I can't do this because I've made a promise. And if I break my promise to the family, I feel upset. So it's using the skills of nonviolent communication. And again, if you're interested in hearing more, get in touch. So you need to show the other person that you're not accusing them. Your intent is good. You want to have, you know, you value your work. You want to be helpful. But there is something that's more important just now. Maybe there's a way that you can do both. But be very clear that you aren't going to do it. Don't sort of say, well, I would like to help, but, blah, blah, and waffle around. Make your meaning clear so that the person knows. Pause. See what the result is. If they start to think, well, so you don't care about your job, clear that bit up. Say, I do care about my job. However, this is a commitment I have, and this, you know, I can do something else. Offer something else if you can. Um, try and see it from their point of view. Listen to them. And then finally explain or evaluate. I mean, maybe you can do something. Maybe you can't. But once you've made your decision, stick with it. Once you've made that decision, don't keep saying, oh, maybe I should have. People much more respect people who are clear. So as I say, it's simple. Get your S, get your story straight, intent, make it clear that you're not about accusing, you're not about, you're just saying, I value you, I respect you, 
in this case, I can't do what you're asking. Meaning, make sure it is clear what you're meaning. It's just this case, or is it always you need to finish at five o'clock? Pause, listen to the other person, and evaluate, explain if necessary, clarify anything, and that's it. Saying no nicely is simple. <laughs>